Hello, happy Sunday. Sherry Wirtz with Dental Hygiene 411. So haven't done a live video in a while and today's 411 is gonna be on saliva. Why is it important? Why is it important to you? And what happens if you don't have it? So saliva is made up of 95% water. It also contains music, music, <laughs> mucus, and um, the enzyme called um, amylase. So why is that important? because it helps aid in digestion. So the more you chew your food, the more saliva you produce, the more saliva you produce, the more enzymes you make, the more enzymes you make, the more it breaks down your food before you even swallow it. So what does that mean that I'm saying? I'm saying that digestion starts in your mouth. Another reason that your mouth is so important to the rest of your body. So we talk a lot about health and diet and exercise and why all those things are really important. Most of us don't think about what we do in our mouth. When you wake up in the morning, I know a lot of times I am until I started doing all these videos, I would just get up and brush really quickly, which is what started all this. I realized by looking at the timer on my Oral-B that I had only brushed 45 seconds and I thought, oh my gosh, I had no idea I had brushing been brushing that quickly. Because I switch off toothbrushes, I use all different ones so I can do these videos and talk to patients about it and I can see what I like and don't like about toothbrushes. Um, but that's a whole nother video. But how you're brushing your teeth is important. How many times you brush your teeth is important. The tools you use are important. And not so much which tool you use, but how you use them. So saliva is really important to you because when you don't have it, you're more likely to get cavities and gingivitis and gum disease. When you have dry mouth, it dries off the tissue in your mouth and then your gums become inflamed. So if you're not getting in there and brushing them, then you're gonna get bleeding. And when you get bleeding, that bacteria in your mouth gets into your bloodstream and can um, contribute to systemic